Mr. Bonilla, you, your family has an impressive story. Mother, a Cuban immigrant, fled the communist revolution as a young woman. And like many Cubans came here to build a new, better life. Your uncle Mario apparently disappeared trying to help other Cuban exiles. This summer, we've seen the Cuban people bravely protesting against the communist dictatorship. Tell me a little more about the oppression that your family faced in Cuba and the opportunities they were able to find with other Cuban exiles in America. Thank you, Senator Grassley. Um, as you pointed out, um, my mother, when she was 21 years old, left Havana with um, a suitcase and a dream. Uh, she came to a country <clears throat> where the, uh, the land was foreign, as was the language. Uh, she and her mother and her, and her sister moved to New York and had to leave uh, her brother Mario behind in Cuba. Um, eventually, he did come to this country and settled in Miami. Uh, and every year, my family would drive our Chevy Nova down 95 uh, in, with our trailer to visit them in Hialeah, um, and where we'd spend a week with, with our extended family. Um, my, my, uh, my uncle Mario was a private pilot, um, and uh, my grandmother saved her money and bought him a plane. Um, and he would fly back and forth trying to rescue other Cubans out of um, that country uh, who can were suffering. I, can I interrupt you? Did yes, they sir. ever refer to the oppression they had in Cuba? Um, my mother tried to paint a, a, a good life. Um, my sister and I have pulled the pieces apart and realized that she had a very hard life. Um, my father, my, my grandfather, uh, my mother's father, left home in search of a better life and abandoned the family. Um, and so they had to struggle on their own. Um, and, and so it was things like you couldn't paint your house because then the communist government would know that you had money, extra money. Um, so it was things like that. She doesn't like to talk about it because she wants us to appreciate what we could have and not what she endured. Okay. Mr. Cantor. When we met last week, I mentioned my concern about concentration and anti-competitive practices in farming, excessive corporate consolidation in the agriculture industry, harmful to the family farmers. Recently, I've been particularly concerned about competition problems and lack of transparency in the cattle pricing. Earlier this year, I wrote a letter urging the Justice Department to investigate the control that large meat packers have over the meat processing market and whether this control violates antitrust laws. So as head of the Justice Department's Antitrust Division, what action would you take to combat anti-competitive marketing behavior that hurts farmers and raises consumer prices at the grocery store? Thank you, Senator, and thank you for raising awareness to this critically important issue. Uh, our, our, our food supply, our agriculture, our farmers are critical to the health of our economy. Uh, and, and to uh, a healthy um, uh, nation. And so this has to be a, a high priority uh, when enforcing the antitrust laws. It, it, it's vigorous antitrust enforcement in the area of agriculture uh, is absolutely essential, in my view, to any uh, um, effective antitrust enforcement program. Um, I hope you'll work with the, uh, this isn't a question, I hope you'll work with the Department of Agriculture to make sure that the Packers and Stockyards Act is fully uh, used and even encourage that using if you have to. Um, I, I'm uh, get on to the next question. The rising cost of prescription drugs. That concerns my Iowans all the time at my county meetings. The Justice Department plays a critical role in ensuring that drug companies don't engage in anti-competitive practices or monopolistic behavior. What steps would you take if you're confirmed to enforce the antitrust laws in this space and ensure that both brand name and generic drug companies play by the rules? These are critical issues that affect Americans every day. Um, access to affordable medicine, health care, uh, cannot be more important. Uh, and so the antitrust laws play an important role uh, in keeping prices down, um, allowing for access to important uh, care so that people can be healthy uh, and live. And so antitrust enforcement here as well is absolutely critical. And um, if confirmed, I intend to work with the Department of Justice to ensure that we have vigorous uh, and responsive antitrust reform in this area. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you.